In Invincible, alien invasions on Earth are normally isolated events, so when the Sequid invasion is underway, no one expects another alien invasion to occur on the same day. But unfortunately, that's exactly what happens, as we see an attractive green alien called Universa traveling through space, sent by her people to suck the Earth dry of all its energy. Universa lands on Earth and immediately identifies a power source, scattering the nearby residents and breaking into a nuclear power plant. This nuclear plant, owned by Western Power, calls on Invincible Incorporated. Invincible and Adam Eve's hero for hire business for help, promising to sign a five-year contract if they can stop the perpetrator. Invincible and Adam Eve arrive on the scene as Universa fires beams of energy from her staff of leadership and hits Mark, sending him flying. When Mark finds out what she's after, he becomes frustrated and asks why she didn't just ask for energy rather than immediately come in and hurt people. But Universa says that her home planet is eight times bigger than Earth and the amount of energy she needs to save her home planet will drain Earth dry. Mark then realizes that fighting is his only option and the battle begins. Universa uses her staff of leadership that emits powerful energy bursts to blast Invincible, knocking him away before Mark fights back, landing a nasty blow before sharing his philosophy of being uncomfortable hitting women. She then uses her staff again to pin Invincible against the wall before Adam Eve arrives, blowing her back out with a solid hit of her own. But when Eve tries to use her powers again, they seem to malfunction, spitting out flowers instead of her usual pink matter. She shouts for Mark for help as her powers suddenly stop working, and Mark immediately jumps in to save his girlfriend, but is hit with another powerful energy burst that knocks him down. Believing Invincible is finished, Universa steps over him and is about to destroy Eve until Invincible pops back up and grabs her staff, but shocks himself in the process, leaving him unconscious. Universa makes it known that only the Chosen can wield the staff of leadership before Eve gets her attention and knocks her out with a single punch. But before they can get any rest, they must stop another invasion on Earth that is happening at the exact same time. Later on, after the disaster in Las Vegas caused by Dinosaurus, Invincible makes a visit to the prison, following the warden who brings him to her cell. We see Universa chained to the ground with two shackles on her arms and one restraining her neck. Upon seeing Invincible, she screams about how he has doomed her planet and threatens Mark before he commands her to let him speak. He tells her that he's going to try and convince Cecil to let her go, since Mark doesn't believe Universa is evil, rather she was just desperate to save her own people. Mark asks if she would cooperate if he can free her and help her return to her home planet, and she agrees to his proposal. So we see Universa sucking the energy out of one of many power stations after Mark reaches an agreement with Cecil, giving her enough energy to get home and help sustain her planet for a limited amount of time. Universa is extremely grateful and apologizes to Invincible, whose response is just don't try to attack us again later, to which Universa smiles before making her way back home.